so cute. Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it is making the on D sweater. This is probably not what you were expecting to see today. You were probably expecting to see the licorice dress. And I have finished it except for hemming because the bias is going to do its biasy thing but i was editing the video and it was basically the same video as the orchid dress now i'm not going to not put that video out but i just thought you know what two of exactly the same video two days in a row hmm and then i thought crap what can i do instead i have nothing else prepared i don't want to do a sort of sit down and let's do a pattern haul or this because I have no new patterns in. I have no new fabric to show you. So I thought what's going to be the quickest project I can do? This one. I have had this pattern in my stash for a very very long time. The very lovely Alex from Ginger Head & Co actually gave this to me as part of one of the KB pattern swaps and she has also sent me some absolutely gorgeous French terry all the way from Poland. Woo! Little sewing machines all over it. It is so so cute. So I thought you know what, let's do a nice, quick, easy project. This one is actually slated for November. I'm planning on doing a whole video on this in November, but yeah, you're getting it early because this is what I can get done in an afternoon. Let's have a very quick look at the pattern sizes on this envelope. I fall into the size 42 bust, 40 waist, and 46 for the hips. I am going to do a straight size 42, I think. They've got negative ease of three and a half inches on the waist of this pattern and then and it has a negative ease of a quarter of an inch around the bust so the size 42 is going to give me actually negative ease of half an inch because my bust is 38 not 37 and three quarters and my waist is 28 inches yeah there's only an inch difference in it i'm going to go for a straight size 42. i'm going to also go for the long sleeves and the oh now I don't want the collar, I want a neckband, but I prefer the higher neckband, so I may have to draft my own neckband for this one. Let's try that. So, I need to trace it. Meaning of life, the universe, and everything. I need to alter it. Wow, wow. Double wow. So far, it's long enough in both the body and the sleeve. That never happens. I have made a choice about the neckband though. I don't want to do the collar and I want the higher neckband. So I have traced the neckband for the low front and I have put in the low front neckline so that I can, so that I can measure it, which you've just seen me doing. The dots here on the neckband are the shoulder dots, so the back neckline this is the center this, this is where the back seam will go in this is the shoulder seam and then this is the center front which corresponds to this piece down here so from this measurement is 10 inches and from here to here is eight inches so they've taken two inches off so i've measured around here which is six and a half inches and i've taken two inches off so i've measured four and a half inches from the shoulder seams this is going to be my new cut on the fold line done I need to cut it out. And I need to sew it. So heavy, 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 so heavy. Black thread, not gonna work. Rainbow, of course. Previous user has not cleaned this out. Mother. enough right that's the hard part done I do need pins they're over there something 
something's not right. Served me right for being cocky earlier. Bum. Fluff. Oh, my lower loop is up with it. Okay. Time to Google. I think I fixed it. Infinity scar! Just because it's stretchy doesn't mean you don't press. Time to press. Neckband time, I do have a in-depth tutorial on how to do that listed up here. Sleeves! Sleeves are complete, more pressing. Side seams. The rainbow makes it so pretty. Right, turn it inside out. No, outside, yeah. Outside, out. <laughs> Words are hard. Time for cuffs. Here's some I prepared earlier. I am going to attempt to get the sewing machines the right way up on the cuffs. I have tried to position a sewing machine front and centre. Let's see how that goes. Machines are the right way up. Yay. Oh, tiny little pucker in that one, but you know what? I'm not gonna fret it. So, waistband next, same deal. Got to get the machines, the sewing machines the right way up. And again, here's one I prepared earlier. Almost done. We can just put this back. Didn't need it. Time to thread in the ends. Can't forget the little bit of hand sewing to close up the infinity scarf. Give it a good press. And try it on. Done! It's so cute! It is so so cute. Now, I didn't have to technically add any length to this. Uh, the sleeves are perfect. Actually perfect. And the length of the body was exactly 17 inches. So, it does fit really well. I don't think I want to add any length in the future. I think this is a lovely little cropped cardigan. I think this is a lovely little cropped jumper. I have also done the thing that I usually do if I have a decent chunk of fabric left, which is make an infinity scarf. I have done a different neckline to the one that the pattern has. This is supposed to be the neckline with the collar on it. I probably wouldn't ever wear it or want to wear it with a collar. I think it's really cute. I just haven't traced it out. It's not my style. And I've also not traced out the shorter sleeve one because again, just it's just not my style. If, if I'm gonna make a jumper, I want it to be a long sleeve jumper. But because I had this little bit extra left, as I say, I've done what I usually do, which is make an infinity scarf because it now looks like I've got like a giant collar on my jumper, which is obviously, <laughs> It's definitely a look, but it's detachable, obviously, so I can either wear it with the infinity scarf over the top for an oversized slouchy look. Probably actually, let's um, cause that probably wouldn't be great for warmth. So, can we do three times? Or we probably, yeah, we can, but I'm not sure that we should. <laughs> for warmth kind of wear it like that or, or my usual would be to just double it over twice and kind of put it on like that not necessarily keeping the neck warm but it is kind of giving that oversized slouchy collar look which I do really like I don't necessarily want to have all of the time so it's nice to have the option of with or without <laughs> so yeah very very pleased with this i'm glad i went for the size 42 because it is the meaning of the universe life and everything but it also fits me really really nicely yeah really really pleased with this think it's gorgeous 
will make again probably will make lots of these although to be fair my stack of french terry is not that vast at the moment because i did go through a phase of making up all of my really pretty french terries into this sort of jumper so technically i do have another pattern in fact i have a couple of patterns the seamwork astoria and the mccall's 7634 are both very once you've taken out the um, placket bit of the 7634 which I have done they're very very similar to this jumper so it's not like the most groundbreaking pattern in the world but it is incredibly cute and thank you again to Alex from Gingerhead & Co for sending me the pattern and sending me the fabric very 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 happy with how this has come out and it's been a fun project this afternoon so I'm now going to go and edit this so that you can watch it this afternoon so I hope you enjoyed today's video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!